to find a derivative of this, if you use multiplication or um, for the product and you have three products, it gets really messy. But there is a quick, um, trickier way. That's to recognize that sine of 2x is actually equal to 2 sine x called sine x. So what you can do is trick the function into that x is equal to x cubed okay, times 1 over sine of 2x because I don't have the coefficient 2 here but I need a coefficient 2 here. Another way you can think of is divided by 2 on this side. Okay, and then you have sine x times cosine x is equal to sine 2x over 2. Now this becomes a lot easier because now you just have two parts to integrate, uh, to dif differentiate. So y is equal to half x cubed. We can treat this one as one term. And the sine of 2x, and I'll make sure we use the chain rule when we take derivative for this one. Okay, so y prime is equal to, let's take a derivative of the first one. That's 3 and a half x squared leave the second term alone, we'll call this one second term, okay? And then you're going to leave the first term alone and take a derivative of the second term, which is cosine 2x, but don't forget to do the 2 over here because you have to take derivative of 2x, which is 2. Okay, now from there, let's just simplify here. 3 over 2x squared sine of 2x plus this two and a half cancels, you have an x cubed cosine of 2x. Okay, let's pull the common terms out. I have x squares um, in common. Okay, let's pull the x square over here. And then you have a three and a half x left here and sine of 2x left here, plus x, uh, we're gonna only pull the square out actually. So x is left here and then you have a cosine of 2x. All right, it's much easier this way than trying to deal with three terms to multiply. All right, have a confident day.